have you ever hit the send button on an email and then realized that you mm. sent it to the wrong people? And oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, here's a major one. A Delaware elementary school is learning this lesson the hard way after a staff member accidentally emailed parents a sarcastic hurt feelings report that mocked whiners at the school. It's structured like a bullying report, but it includes pages for whiner's name, type of wine used. I know, as well as questions like, did you require a tissue for tears? And I want my mommy. Now, the school has apologized. They said this came from an external source. It was never meant to get out. Some parents are accepting that. Others are very, very angry because bullying is a big issue. So what do you think, honest mistake or offensive? I think it's offensive. No, yeah. I mean, is... no, wait, first of all, let me hear you. If you have little kids, they're emotionally evolving, especially little kids. And little kids whine, you know, four-year-olds, three-year-olds. It's part of the emotional process. And don't nobody want to no, hear the wine. No, That's why no, they sit out the email. Okay, I love it. I Here's the thing. If I'm sending my kid to that school, and a teacher doesn't have tolerance <laughs> for a kid who whines, or a teacher is not an advocate of a child, I don't want my kid Can in that class. Can we just lighten up, like, a little, though? Okay, here's the thing. You know how sometimes you go on the internet, and then there's, like, those, like, funny memes, and you circulate them amongst your office group or your coworkers to, like, have a chuckle? Yeah, but, I don't but there's a truth. To... There's an element of truth to all of those yeah. things. And when bullying is bad as it is in schools, I would worry as a parent. I understand it's a mistake, but I wonder, boy, is the culture there that they do sort of not take it seriously? Because yeah, a lot of kids are don't the kids. Teachers don't take them seriously. I, mean, so. I can understand that, but don't yes. teachers need a little release also from work and a little chuckle and laugh? This wasn't meant to be read by a parent or a kid. Right, no obviously. Kid was, no, no it kid was been written here. and then talk yeah. about it. But they found it, it. They, they found, found, it found it online, online they spread around, they laughed. But they said the mistake was that it got out, not that they feel bad about the content. I was yeah. like, oh, we, we let it get out. Know, but yeah. I mean, you have to understand, look, my mom was a teacher, and yeah. yes, there are some of those kids that you're just like, really, come on, grow up, suck it up a little bit. So it's about those kids. It's not and about the bully pants, kids. Being all whiny, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I can't wait till you guys all have kids. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes exactly. kids right. don't know how please, to express please, themselves. Please, please. I've told you I'm trying to get everything in line to have all a baby. Right, so you just got say it. We know. Okay. You're making a baby All right. Today. This is what I, 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 I put this under the category of kind of crazy. I love a comfortable work environment. We all do. But there is a new invention by the car maker Nissan that could promote coddling in the office. You've heard of self-parking cars, right? Well, what about chairs that park themselves? Take a look at this. Sale. Nissan created this to show how the, the the level of their technology, smart technology. They're not selling them, but it's like chair I, porn. Look, how about just putting the chair? About just putting the chair back? But, but that's mean, why you have stuff like that because people don't. I can't tell you how many times I've stubbed my toe, run into a chair because somebody just gets up and leaves it there. Yeah, but then, Park your chair. You the park there. Park there. This is great technology. I love this, but give me a break. If there's a company that can afford this, then I need to be looking at where that money's going. Yeah, exactly. I that's, agree. Come on, that's just a waste of money. And what about a chair, chair that goes rogue? <laughs> they yeah. eventually oh, want to be a chair and do something seen, bad. You've seen some of those self-parking car accidents, right? Exactly. We've all exactly. seen the videos where the car doesn't quite make it oh, in the yeah. spot. Your, your remote controls don't even work anymore. You exactly. think things are going to work? No, this no. is a terrible idea. Bad idea. Yeah.